Well, covering East Alabama, an update on a road that was damaged near the Moody landfill. You remember that thing that was burning and burning and burning? For months, it seems. Neighbors say after all this time, it is still a problem and still impacting this time their cars, even their air quality. Bria Chapman joins us now live in studio with more from county leaders on what's next and what they're doing to fix this part of the problem, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Morgan and Sarah. St. Clair County Commission Chairman tells me permanent repairs will happen, but it won't be anytime soon. Now, in the meantime, they have added some gravel to some of the worst spots, but neighbors say now that's causing problems. People who live near Annie Lee Road say the gravel that's being added is affecting their air quality and they're having a harder time breathing now than when they dealt with the landfill fire. Stan Bateman with the County Commission says he feels for neighbors in that area, but they are working to get those repairs completed, but but it is not a quick and easy fix. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management is covering the repair cost and the material they plan to use is an experimental surface that is being prepared by Auburn, Auburn University. But now with so many road repair projects in the works ahead of this one, they're having a hard time finding contractors. So in the meantime, they're working with the county engineer. As far as a time frame, uh, my engineer said by the end of this month, there will be uh, some patches put on the road that will actually be uh, road surface patching. In other words, you can, you'll be able to drive on it. It'll have uh, asphalt covering the, the bad areas, but it won't be in its finished form uh, more than likely for uh, uh, probably a couple of months because it's going to take a while to get the contractor in place and, and get that final material down. Now, as far as the air quality in the area, Bateman says the county does not have the equipment to monitor that, but I did check the air quality in Moody for today and it's showing that it's moderate. And I'll tell you how you can look it up in this story on our WBRC News app.